So now, look at this. When I do the Mikey lock, which I'm gonna explain in a second, the mechanical advantage of it is every time I connect my head to the spot here using my neck instead of my armpit, whenever he goes plantar flexion, he breaks his own foot here. Sorry. Man, that's it instantly like. breaks the foot here. Uh, the break is like an Aoki lock almost. That's what breaks here, and that's what the Mikey lock is, okay? Um, a lot of people set, think I'm doing this here. If I did this on Bernardo when he's in plantar flexion, I have no pressure on this pair. Look, look. Like literally, like I have to, there's nothing. The reason why this is so strong is whenever I put my palm under its heel, I have this fulcrum that's extremely high. So now when I bend his toes down, I'm able to break his foot, okay? But what else is amazing about this? Whenever I have the Mikey lock control, I'm able to get my head above and start putting his foot in Dorsey flex. Now I'm in an inside heel hook again, breaking his knee. So what just happened? I have two attacks now instead of one. I'm able to break his foot and knee at the same time, opposed to the heel hook where I have to force his foot into Dorsey flex. So now in this spot, I don't have to force ever, okay? So how do I do the Mikey lock? What I do is, you see the heel right here. Uh, if we could change angles this way. Yeah. Look at his ankle bone here. I put my, this part of my palm under his ankle bone like a glove and connect it like so. Now when I connect this, it's hard. Now I have control of his heel. Then I wrap my fingers around it like so. Now what I do is I place his big toe under my head like so, okay? Once I connect my big toe under his head, Notice how for him to open his knee now, it becomes super yeah. difficult, okay? And what I'm going to show you now is my leg configuration. Guys, I'm almost certain someone in the past has done this before, you know, like a judo, sambo person, everything no, that you did no, has been done. No, no. Dalai Kiva was done in the 60s, no. in the 30s, I think, in the 1900s, yeah. you know? But what happened is with evolution over time, we systemize these spots and we make a position. I made a system from this spot to share with you guys, and I really think that this is going to be the future leg locks. I think that the neck is a- Hi, this is Shadi. Mikey Muzumesi, in my opinion, is nothing short of a genius. Um, today, we're going to go back to 1913 to see a very old heel hook that I inquired uh, the jujitsu community about when I talked about it in an old video of mine, and a lot of people uh, we're very kind to give a lot of insight on it and today we're gonna revisit it again and compare it with the Mikey lock because I see so many similarities however Mikey has clearly sharpened it and honed it and made it I'd say a hundred times more dangerous so today what we will do is actually go back to the Tiger Scrolls of 1913 by uh, Noguchi Senryuken or the Noguchi brothers and take a look at this one when I first saw this I actually thought he was creating a torsion by wrapping the regs around each other and creating this uh, torsion when in fact it's not someone pointed out that this is a type of heel hook and you can see he's cupping um, the heel with both hands very similar to Mikey actually but instead of using his own head as a fulcrum he's using the other guy's leg to put it on top to actually pin it and then create that lever and actually attack the knee now uh, if you think about it if the uh, uke or the opponent uh, flexes his toes forward or releasing the muscles of the shin bone or the tibialis uh, then you would get like a quote aoki lock or attacks the ankle but if he flexes the tibialis or points his toes towards him it's gonna attack the knee as in a heel hook so what really strikes me is he's pinning the leg from the top and also the same grip being applied one hook from the top on the heel and one hook from the bottom cupping the heel very similar to Mikey however um, with today's um, I'd say level of the game it's I'm not entirely sure about this but I'd say it's very hard to put the legs in this uh, position and actually attack the leg like this so uh, ha having only control of one leg is on well it's easier for you uh, as a competitor and also um, you can use your own head, which you have much more control of than the other guy's leg, to put it on top of the leg and attack it. And then, um, as you can see, the way he's cupping, he is very much ready to pull away, rotate, and create the pressure on the knee or the ankle, very similar to the Mikey lock. Um, but another thing is that Mikey really goes into detail of how he positions his legs, 
um, like a 50-50 and at the same time uh, the other leg is in a uh, inside Sankaku or Uchi Sankaku or you know what we call today a honey hole in the BJJ community but this one here you can see the legs are almost loosened um, because he is relying on the other guy's leg to put it on top to pin the leg that he is targeting um, but uh, if it's hard for you to control the other leg and put it on top um, you can easily uh, lace the, um, the attacking the, the leg that you are targeting with either a 50-50 um, honey hole or inside sankaku uh, etc but here um, since he doesn't uh, need to control the hips because if you think about it if you have your legs like this on top of each other it's gonna be very hard to roll away and defend um, the classical defense of heel hook so uh, he doesn't actually really need to put um, his legs in a very specialized uh, position or a very crafty position like the 50 50 or like the um, honey hole or the inside sankaku so again um, this will create far less the, the lever is far longer than the mikey lock i would say because you have the bend on the knee and also um the leg you know he has control over his leg you know the, the one that's on top so he can kick with it he can uh, do all sorts of defense with it so but your own head, your own neck, you can use as a fulcrum and you have total control over them, which makes this lock, I'd say, 100 times more effective than the old 1913 Jiu-Jitsu, uh, quote, Mikey lock. So, um, this is a leg lock that's almost dead. Like we see, I've talked about heel hooks in the past um, in the uh, Kawaishi book, where he says on the straight ankle lock, the inside ankle lock, uh, as a little note that you can also finish it by creating torsion on the knee and by rotating sideways which makes it an inside heel hook if you go back to my uh, old heel hook video which i will link at the end of the video and also now this one uh, i did not understand it when i first saw the pictures and when i made my video on the lost submissions like the back cracks and the neck cranks uh, i included this one which i'll also link at the end of the video for you to watch uh, I asked the BJJ, you know, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, to help me figure out this lock, and it is uh, very similar to the Mikey lock in terms of mechanics. However, Mikey has honed it into a whole new level, and I really admire his jujitsu. He's very crafty. He really understands human anatomy, and at the same time, uh, he really works on crafting and making things far more lethal and far more deadly. So, if you have anything else to add. Uh, please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only but don't worry my main content will always be here on this channel uh, so don't feel obliged but your support would mean greatly to me if you have anything else to add again show it down in the comments uh, Jiu Jitsu guys and girls i really need your take on this this was shady and thank you for listening